Jordan is one of the most water-scarce countries in the world. Due to climate change and rapid population growth, Jordan's already limited resources have been overstretched. The country relies heavily on pumping groundwater for agriculture, industry, and drinking water. With climate change models forecasting less predictable rainfall, Jordan's water supply will continue to decline into the future. In addition to these challenges, the sector is struggling with enormous costs due to the high energy consumption for pumping as well as water losses. GIZ works in partnership with Jordan's government, water utilities, communities and the private sector to address these challenges from all angles. Funding for the projects implemented by GIZ mainly comes from the German government, but also from the European Union and the Swiss Development Cooperation. The water cycle in Jordan has different stages. From Jordan's limited water sources, the water is abstracted, treated, and distributed by the utilities, which deliver the water to the customers. Used water needs to be collected for wastewater treatment before it can be discharged or reused for agriculture. The German government is supporting the Jordanian sector in building capacity at all levels. Jordan's limited water sources need to be well managed and protected. Therefore, GIZ supports Jordan's Ministry of Water and Irrigation in developing a new water master plan which will map the country's water future and investment needs, ensuring Jordan has enough water through 2040. Jordan has 14 large reservoirs, which are an important source for water supply. Measures that prevent soil erosion ensure that water resources are maintained. The construction work is done employing a large number of Jordanian workers and Syrian refugees, providing them with a highly needed income. To protect the limited resources, farmers are supported in reducing the consumption of water for irrigation. With simple techniques such as changing irrigation methods and reusing treated water, a lot of water can be saved. An important way to increase water supply in the future is the desalination of seawater. Once the water has been abstracted and treated for usage, it is being pumped by the different utilities to the people. Jordan's water utilities suffer from high energy costs and partially outdated infrastructure, which make water delivery difficult. The sector loses 250 million Jordanian dinars annually due to water losses from outdated networks, illegal uses, or unpaid bills. With the introduction of an energy management system, GIZ supports the reduction of electricity costs in municipal networks. The utilities also receive support with regards to service offers towards customers. A success story for better services can be seen at the Customer Service Center at Yermuk Water Company's Regional Operating Center in Mafraq. Renovations were completed to improve interactions between customers and staff and to create a more professional environment. Projects like this one help improve service quality, leading to greater customer satisfaction and increased revenues for the utility. Another example of improved service quality is the newly created Utility Performance Monitoring Unit in the Water Ministry. It regularly produces reports that show the actual performance of the utilities and share this information with the public. In cooperation with local religious leaders, people's awareness about water shortages is enhanced. In 10 northern communities, people discuss with decision makers their problems and jointly identify measures to improve water delivery for everyone. In this particular project, 63,000 people could benefit from better water supply so far. Proper wastewater treatment is of utmost importance to protect the environment and secure public health. Jordan has 32 wastewater treatment plants. Most suffer from budget shortages, which has led to shortfalls in maintenance and repair. 
A new certification system covers key areas and assures that only wastewater plants who meet national and international standards receive a certificate. In cooperation with the German Association of Water, Wastewater and Waste, GIZ contributed to five more wastewater treatment plants have been certified. Where wastewater is treated, sewage sludge is produced as a byproduct. Until now, all sludge has been disposed of at landfills, which is costly and poses environmental risks. A new project seeks innovative solutions for sludge disposal and reuse by looking into new marketable products which can be produced from sludge, such as biochar. Products like these would be a win-win solution as they solve the sludge problem while generating extra income for water utilities. To maintain these improvements, it's important to ensure Jordan has the technical and leadership capacity to do so. An in-house training center has been rehabilitated, which will provide further training opportunities for the whole sector. Courses will cover various technical topics as well as management capacity, leadership training and soft skills, such as communication and conflict resolution. Jordan is well below the international water poverty line. Building a secure water future for Jordan requires everyone working together and continuing to build partnerships.